Mystery Disney Frozen 2 The Journey North One night, a young Elsa and Anna were told a story. It was about how the people of Arendelle and the Nortodor went to war with each other and ended up being trapped inside an enchanted forest. The girl enjoyed the story but had lots of questions. The mother, Queen Iduna, told them about a special river called Altahallen that was said to hold all the answer about the past. Elsa couldn't help but wonder if the mystical river also held answer about her magic powers. Years later, with their parents no longer around, Anna and Elsa spent a lot of time with their best friends Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf. One night, as the five of them play a game of thread, Elsa appeared distracted. Anna was worried about her sister, and later that evening, she went to check on her. You are wearing mother's scarf, said Anna. You do that when something is wrong. Elsa assured her sister that she was fine, but secretly she was worrying. Someone or something was calling out to her. That night, Elsa continued to hear the voice. She followed it out of the castle to the fjord. Elsa used her powers to shoot out an enormous blast that created ice crystals. Suddenly, there was a flash of light from the north and the wind stopped. Fire dried out and the fountains and waterfalls dried up. The village had to be evacuated. Then Grand Peby and the troll arrived. Elsa and the wise troll understood that she needed to head north and follow the voice. He also told Anna that she must go with her. I won't let anything happen to her, promised Anna. Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven joined the sisters and they all headed north toward the enchanted forest. When they reached it, they walked through a thick mist that led into the forest. As they explored, Anna gasped when she saw a huge dam. She knew it was the one her grandfather had built many years ago. Kristoff approached Anna. He was planning to propose to her, but couldn't find the right moment to ask. Meanwhile, Olaf was enjoying looking around at all the wondrous things the forest had to offer. He looked into a body of water when something rushed up at him from the depth. Olaf screamed and backed away. Just then, a gust of wind appeared, bending trees in its path. It was the wind spirit. It picked everyone up and swept them around. To slow it down, Elsa used her power to create snow, which turned into beautiful ice sculptures. Each one captured a different moment in time. It turned out that water had memory. Suddenly, soldiers appeared all around them. They were the trapped Nordra and Arendellian soldier. They started to close in on the group, but Elsa stunned them all with her magic. That was magic. Did you see that? Asked one of the soldier, Lieutenant Matthias. A bright flash suddenly appeared. It dashed around the tree, setting them on fire. Elsa chased down the fireball and discovered it was actually a cute salamander. Elsa's coolness appeared to settle the salamander, and it snuggled down in her hand. Then Elsa heard the voice again and knew she had to go further north. Later, everyone gathered in a forest clearing. Honey Marin, one of the Notoldra, explained that the symbol of Elsa's scarf were the four spirits air, fire, water, and earth. Honey Marin then pointed out a fifth symbol. To discover what this meant, Elsa knew she would have to follow the voice. Anna and Olaf wouldn't let Elsa go alone, so they went with her. 
As they couldn't find Kriktov, the three of them reluctantly left without him. As it happened, Kriktov was busy getting ready to propose to Anna. When he learned she left without him, the ice harvester started to wonder whether he truly fit into Anna's future. A little while later, Elsa, Anna, and Olaf had reached the top of a hill. They got set aside below. It was the wreck of their mother and father's ship. They ran down to take a closer look. The group searched the wreck for clues. They found a map which had Arthur Holland clearly marked on it. Anna and Elsa realized their parents had gone on the voyage to seek answers about Elsa's magic when the wave overcame them. Worried for Anna and Olaf's safety, Elsa decided to continue on her own. Before Anna could stop her, Elsa formed a boat under her sister and Olaf and sent them toward a stretch of water. Anna, while trying to stop the boat, changed its direction. She and Olaf were now drifting past a group of sleeping earth giants. Soon after, they ended up in the cavern, wondering what to do next. Meanwhile, Elsa finally reached the dark sea. As she crossed the raging water, the water nook emerged and started throwing her around. Elsa used her power to create an ice bridle and she was soon riding the spirit to the shore. As she rode the majestic water nook across the dark sea, Elsa hoped Arthur Holland waited on the other side. We continued in book 24.